Hello again guys, here we are. We're at Spleen Bridge. Now this is a very, very, very poignant area this is. And this is where the raw the old Royal Marines monument is. Oh it's fantastic, isn't it? That is just fantastic. Being ex Royal Navy myself. Take my hat off to these guys. This is where they used to be based and had to do their training and stuff like that. This was all military, like a military no-go area, no area in the war. Fantastic, absolutely superb. And there's like a garden and memorial over there. And oh, this is quite a poignant place actually. It's made me uh, um, feel a little bit emotional actually, to be quite honest with you. Um, absolutely gorgeous, look at this. Scottish Commando Memorial. Contributes to the upkeep of the memorial will be greatly received and should be placed in this box. And there's all the bits and pieces look, and all the, the views from the different bits and it's views from the different hills over the back here. Look, beautiful, isn't it? What a place to have a memorial. Absolutely, look at that. Look, I'm quite moved by this to be honest with you. Really am quite moved, and I think you will, you guys will be too. Isn't that just amazing? I'm going to go around and read the inscription now, I think. Let's have a look, see what it says. If you can't read it, I'll read it out to you. Uh, it says, the, the commandos 1940 to 45. In the summer of 1940, the Britain's fortunes in World War II were at their lowest ebb and the enemy invasion was threatened. Winston Churchill boldly ordered the raising of an elite force to raid the enemy held coastline of Europe and regain the initiative. The new units were initially consisted of volunteers from the regiments and corps of the British Army were called the Commandos. Within weeks, they were in action in Europe, later in the Middle East and the Far East. During the next five years, they fought in every theater of war with such success that the word commando became feared by the enemy, e.g. the Germans, yet respected by friendly forces. For their value in action, the commandos earned 38 battle honours, many awards including eight Victoria Crosses, but many made the supreme sacrifice, no, three are the, no fewer than 1,700 Royal Marine Commando soldiers lost their lives and others were seriously wounded. This plaque is unveiled, unveiled on the occasion of the freedom of Lockerbar being confirmed with the Commando Association 1993. Isn't that just very poignant? Very poignant. And I feel, and I'm sure you agree with me, that these elite British forces were just... Look at that, that's just amazing, isn't it? It's just amazing. Britain at its best, that was. Okay, guys. Anyway, and on that, on that sombre moment, we're gonna go cheery, cheery now, and we're off to see if we can find somewhere to camp. All right, guys, cheer later on.